The future is happening now. Cars that don't need gasoline anymore are becoming more popular, especially with car company Tesla. But of course, they don't run without some type of power. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin is live right outside our station to explain how these cars can now get charged up in downtown Macon. Who have an electric car here, a Tesla electric car here in downtown Macon, have a very easy way to supercharge their car right here at the corner of Poplar and MLK, right here in 41 NBC's own backyard. I spoke with a Tesla owner a little earlier who told me he loves taking trips down to Savannah and Charleston, and this is a great way for him to be able to juice his car before he leaves. I was mostly interested in being able to have a single car that could run on pure electricity. It pops open like a gas tank would, but similarities to a normal car stop there. It has amazed me every step of the way. Norman Nelson drives a Tesla Model S, which draws its power from electricity, not gas. On all the things this car can do different from a regular internal combustion engine car. You just need to charge the car through the port on the side of the car, much like you'd gas up at a gas station. Norman and other Tesla drivers around Middle Georgia can take advantage of a supercharging station installed right in our backyard at 41 NBC near the corner of Poplar and MLK downtown. Crews have worked for the past few weeks and now the chargers are operational and free. That's if nothing for a Tesla vehicle to charge and supercharge. It's a free uh, it's amenity. Executive Director of the Macon Bibb County Urban Development Authority, Alex Morrison, spearheaded the connection between the city and Tesla. Tesla approached the mayor and the city about uh, a possible partnership and said that they were interested in the area, that they're building a corridor um, in the southeast. It was an easy exchange for the development authority. No, it, it cost nothing. Uh, for the for the taxpayers, um, the uh, we we put in nothing. The uh, uh, the Urban Development Authority already privately held the lot, which makes it easy for Norman to charge his 362 horsepower Model S, giving Norman's car more giddy up than a V6 Ford Mustang. So when he offered a test drive, I couldn't pass it up. It's incredibly responsive. Oh man, I can feel it. It's like you just touch it. it you will where it wants to go. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's incredibly smooth. It's uh, it's it's plenty quick. Uh, it does. It's it's almost like you will the car to be somewhere, and it's there. And as you can see behind me, a family has already taken advantage of the charging station. They told me they were driving from Atlanta down to South Georgia, so a very convenient way for them to charge up their Tesla. Now, Alex Morrison told me that he... Uh or rather, uh, he would love to see that people come off the interstate uh, to enjoy some restaurants downtown using the charging station here. It takes about 20 minutes for it to charge. He said that's just enough time for you to go get a cup of coffee or grab a bite to eat at one of the restaurants downtown. Norman figured he'd save a lot of gas in the next 8 to 10 years. He spent about $100,000 on his car, and he, that, while that's a little hefty, he says it's worth it in the end. So reporting live in downtown Macon, Sean Franklin, 41 NBC News.